Yes, James, I will start the recording for this, the Palace of Ice DLC of Celasta. I should mention, Spoon, that tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern is my match with Omar, which means we don't have Blades of Honor, which means no pressure. If you are available, I can Anno. If not, I'll certainly play some Final Fantasy 16. So again, zero pressure. Now, would that be, you're, you're, you're talking about before your match with Omar? Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, I want to act. I want to co-play Anno at the yeah. same time. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, doing yeah. my yeah. playoff uh, assurances <laughs> match. I want to lock. Yeah. I want to lock that in while I am conquering the new world. Yes. That's the kind of gigabrain genius I am. So, <laughs> if I recall, we are chasing the butler, who may be a scrawl. Uh, or whatever they call it in this universe, deeper into this facility. Sorry, I just watched the first I three minutes of Secret Invasion, and I was like, man, I Marvel really has gone to fucking shit, huh? I didn't, didn't even question you calling them scrolls. <laughs> That's how, uh, how long it's been. I was like, yeah, scroll, that sounds right. That's, what are they uh, called? Rathians, rat Sor people? Sorax. Sorax. Sorry, the Sor Akath, according to our friend the Marshal. Um, what, is, did we have a fight here before? Was this, is this the same area we had a fight? For the no, no, we had a fight in the other room that I just came from, the ice cave. Now we're in the weird rivers of underwater red blood mist. Uh, yes, good, idea. Good, good call on going, uh, going, just... uh, oh, there's a bootable thing over here. I think it's just four, though. Oh, there's a. Looks like a jail cell on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and jump down there. It's crazy. There's someone in there. It's Thaddeus yeah. Cobblestone, who is someone we should probably know. What do you want to bet that it's the butler and he's been replaced by a Sorak? Probably, probably. You! Help me! Thaddeus. Get me out of here. Do you think what I think? Now I see why the Sorakath complain about. Ooh, Incubus. Thought Incubus were supposed to be sexy. What? I stand by my original <laughs> statement still. Yep. Yep. Stand by uh stand by that statement for sure. Oh. Wow, we didn't enter oh. combat. I could have snapshotted somebody. Imagine if I had snapshotted a plane shift on the Incubus. <laughs> Imagine if I would rolled higher than a two on my... Uh... Oh, we have multiple rocks, and I'm guessing that's a Hezro. The rocks are going to have the plaguing we got, ability. We got rocklings, yeah. Yeah, rocklings. And, and, and a lesser Hezro. And a, uh, but we've also got a battle mage too, though. So I'm not really concerned about a 44 health battle mage. That seems like some easy counter spell bait. Hmm. All right, oh, he just hummed me, guys. He just hummed at me. All right, I see how it is. Well, there goes half that half that battle mage's health. Yeah, like I told you, I'm not really concerned about a battle mage. Well, I know, I know where I'm going, uh, unless the Incubus moves on my turn. Okay. Didn't I retake plane shift or am I great? Oh, here we go. Banishment. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, bud. Okay, cool. <laughs> Remember when he was like, I'll, I'll only do it if if he moves. Well, guess what? He's gone. He, he moved. Yep, he moved. <laughs> I'm going to hide behind this dwarf because if I take any hits, I'm going to lose my concentration on the spell. But I feel like that was a real solid use of a fourth level spell. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. Imagine being the leader of an evil army and just immediately like, you're like, ah, ha, ha, and you just end up back where you started. And your boss is like, so, uh, how'd it go? Let's start your employee evaluation. 
They're demons. They don't have employee evaluations. They just remove each other's livers until one of them screams. I've seen The Good Place. I know how this works. <laughs> what a great show. Boy, these rocklings are real dicks. Yeah, they got the flyby attack. Mm hmm. Incredible. Um, okay, her spell selection isn't wonderful. It's got invisibility, I suppose, but. Uh, maybe just we just go for um, combat. Uh, she got multiple attacks. She does. Ah, James, I should apologize for uh, being wrong about that one play where I thought two people were down, but it was only one person was down. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I was talking to Dynamis, and he was like, wow, you could tell James really went all out with you. <laughs> I was like, all I had to do to win was succeed at a one and eight roll, and then followed up with a one and six roll. You know, in f forty-seven oh. other universes, I would have lost. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was a two and six roll, right? Because he would have caught it on a five plus. Oh, was it? I thought it was just a six only. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's still a absurdly high. Yes. Yeah. There are many I, other Arthurs out there in a potential multiverse who all got screwed. And, and it, was the first person to lose their nemesis game. Wow, yeah, that's true. That would have been crushing. Uh, counterspell. Yeah, I mean, I told you it was going to wow. be some counterspell bait. Yeah. If funny, I'd been close enough to counter counterspell, but I'm out of range. That was the last good thing that happened on Critical Role was when it was just a room full of people chain counterspelling each other until like four of them went off and Matt goes, okay, let's resolve. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least this dude can't fly. Uh-oh. Ooh, that was a great well, move. It, it sure would have been nice for a wizard to be close enough to counterspell that. It would have, wouldn't it? Did somebody counter counterspell that counter? No, what? I retribution. Oh, who's that from? Oh, the rogue. Yeah. I just got that ability as well. That's sick as hell. In the game I'm playing with, Cotton and Pondo. We're uh we're at the make our way through the orc camps and they call us narcs a lot and i try not to uh, remember that it's all really racist it's like when you watch the avatar the last airbender and you have to know that every time azula says filthy peasant it really in world would have been a really really vile racist thing because <laughs> she only says it to water tribe people mm-hmm Immunity to poison, huh? Yeah. Mm. This dude, this incubus, looks like he's crying in his portrait. Very emo. Okay, so I have a concentration spell. I can't use a lot of my spells as a result. Uh, undead. Uh, chain lightning will smoke all of you, so that's probably not a great plan. I don't know. Do I have to touch someone to use this? What is it? Light. I'm. I, you know what? I'm just gonna throw hands at the battle mage. Ironic. I've got disadvantage on on all um concentration checks. Do they just use shield? Yeah. Yep. Well, wow, they're, no, they countered. They countered. I can't imagine. I can't imagine we saw. Oh, but I cast it at like six level. <laughs> I just wanted an insured kill. Don't know what to, how to feel about that. But if they're in range to counterspell me, I'm in range to counterspell them. So mm -hmm. where we're at. Oh, they had to roll. Yeah, they had to roll for the counterspell, and they failed. Sorry, they succeeded. 
Obrigado, Laki. Uhum. Well, for the Cotton and Pondo gang, we picked our next game. It's going to be Sunhaven after we beat the original Celasta. I'm pretty excited. It's a... It looks like it's a worthy successor to Stardew Valley. It's like Stardew Valley if it had magic and anime. It's got cat girls and demon boys and shit like that. Lawson picked it, so this should not be a huge surprise to anyone. Right. But there's so much going on. It's absolutely stacked full of content. Uh, and everyone can live on the same farm, which is also very interesting. Nice. And uh, I think I'm I'm at the end of my game buying phase because I'm absolutely backed up and stacked up on games. And now that I have my VTuber model, which I will be revealing on Friday once if and when it gets fixed, because there's some slight problems like having a massive underbite <laughs> enough that my lip is completely covering my entire mouth. Um, once that gets fixed, uh, it's it's time to do Hard Space Shipbreaker and finally beat it. Now it's got all official voice actors and the storylines complete. Sounds like Weaver's played by the same guy, though, so that's good. Cutter. He's really the only one that matters. Cutter. <laughs> nothing... with, with the other characters, now. Well, you know, there's nothing I like more than having to beat the same game a third time, but now I'll actually get the rewards for beating the game. And they did change up a lot of the early ships as well to be a little different, a little streamlined. I got to remember the cockpit trick on the Mac roll to pop that sucker open real quick. Is this the only guy left? The little Vrockling? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't know. We'll just use my highest level magic missile. How hard could it be? Pew, pew, pew. Shadow Wizard Money Gang. I banished that incubus to the Shadow Realm. I'm afraid so. That's no, he's pretty too much for him. No. Thaddeus. Victus. We're sorry. Was it the Sorax? A demon. Apparently, they can shape shift in an instant. It's my fault. I should have noticed. Don't blame yourself. Didn't the Paladins have noticed? So that's it. Yeah, right. Was their base of operation. Just a simple detect good and evil sweep once a week. You mean it's not over? We'll search the place for clues, but at this point, we still don't know what their plan was. I oh, yeah. Have an idea. What's their plan? I don't much like it. Andrian. I need to talk to someone. All right, we'll clean up the place. With someone. And meet you. Yeah. I'll be in my room. And thank you, Misuk. Can you help me carry him? Of course, my lady. Well, she doesn't seem evil. I trust her. She's the assassin, right? Those are traditionally very trustworthy individuals. Mm -hmm. I'm, glad, I'm glad that being banished, the um, the guy still dropped his loot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry I may have almost caused us to miss out on a small portion of loot because I instantly removed the boss. <laughs> well, let's uh, be... I, 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 I wasn't mocking you, I was mocking the game. I know, I'm I'm making a, uh, a scene. Causing a scene. I almost want to say, it feels like you should be able to fly down this ominous doom hall. Well, the... the that... that... A big that 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 long uh, bridge in the distance is not a not an interactable area. It looks like. So. Yeah. Right. I'm coming. I was just uh, mining. I have started planning my season four character for Blood Bowl on the assumption that we will get a third and fourth season. Um, it is. I am going to play Elven Union, but I don't think I'm going to play an elf or a human. Interesting. Because I, I'm going to be flat honest. 
I want to be able to call upon a specific positional. <laughs> so I'm going to make my coach a specific positional <clears throat> so that no one can question when I bring it into the game. Good That's assuming the rules stay pretty similar. I'm oh. very curious now as to what this specific positional is. Afo. Wafo. Yeah, okay, a couple of years down the line. I can't be that long for these seasons. We've only got one Omar. Sheesh! <laughs> got him! <laughs> I know. <clears throat> I do have to get him. I have to have absolutely fucking crush him on Thursday. It's pivotal that I not only win, but completely collapse any hope he has. Yeah. Uh... Simply because of the amount of shit talking this season, I have to win. I I don't want to be the only one to not go to the playoffs twice. <laughs> uh, Omar has asked me to guest in his um, battle tech um, three v three Greyland trios. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and from what I understand, it's like the start of their finals, and he has the group that he plays, and. Um, the per like the person that plays that the opponent that that team is playing can't play this weekend, so he's asked me to play that team, so he's not just him playing against the bot. Uh, and his team has never lost. So uh, interesting. I yeah. You don't have to hold back at all. You know, <laughs> it's like if someone handed you five mad cats, one of each variant. Did you find anything in that hideout? No, nothing of interest. And then you shot the GM and killed all but one of his auxiliary forces. Just slaughtered him. Speak with dead. You've heard of it? Well, I figured if Thaddeus knew something. It's a grim process, but yes, considering the situation, it's worth a try. I want to sing like the D&D movie. Oh my god, the D&D movie made it so famous. Oh my god, that's so good. It's like, why did you say yes at the Why did you say yes at the end of that sentence? I didn't. We can share a meal and, well, I suppose that's a second funeral today. Won't your family find this strange? The real thing I found strange was the unlimited uses on that coin, but it did make for a good scene and... Mm -hmm. They were in a bit of a time crunch. Yeah. Well, and then I gave it to you know my chieftain. Times in the Badlands with people much less respectable than the heroes of the Rift. Fine, I don't want to know. I heard someone say that the D and D movie was a oh shit. Is that crafting those for me? I think so. I, I, I already have some. This thing requires attunement. Resi oh, because I need immunity to uh, cold because I'm the only one who doesn't have it. When we go outside. Mm. Uh, I, think, I think others don't have it. But food, food is good. You're good now. Okay, so I need to take my ring of necromancy off and put the boots on. Yes, I mean, yes. You still, you still wear the ring of necromancy. It looks nice. Yeah, but I the attunement's what gives it the spell. Okay, immunity to frozen is good. Well, there's quite a bit of lootable stuff in here. Although, will, Amazing. We, will we lose honor for looking at the bookcases? I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. I guess not. What a real Pendragon situation. Some real Greg Stafford writing. Not like a one line introducing good King Pelinor that immediately gets shit on. Well, my <laughs> are you ready? I am, my lady. Let's do this. Oh, Chris I mean, played in the D D game I played last night and he was very complimentary of your the fact that not only the fact that you did sing, but the fact that you did it well. Oh, interesting. Choose them carefully. I don't like my own singing, so. Who killed you? That's, I mean, 
What? We know we know who killed him. Thaddeus, who killed you? Do we? I don't know. Alright. The, the... Dumbass. <laughs> Be careful with your question. <laughs> it says that it does it means it's the straight Celasta, you know. Like every yeah. option is available. You have to take every yeah. Oh my god. Fucking no use! <laughs> Who does know? I don't know. Oh shit. Okay. I don't know. Oh. He automatically answered the question. That's why the amulet was teleported into the vault. That's four questions. Ah, oh, that's five. Hmm. He won't answer anymore. We know enough. I can't believe it. Maybe your cousin has been replaced too. I doubt it. She's the prime suspect. She's she's the one who inherits if everybody dies. Oh, I have uh Victus. Yeah, which way it's supposed to be going? It's like this way. Uh, are we sure it's not this way? To the new area? Maybe not. Uh, no. I mean, we, we are we are exploring a new area now, so we have not been in before. Hey, stop! Well, there's a real firm stop. What's in this room? Is there anything worth looting in here? Uh, loot? Just more loot, it looks like. Is that a way gate? Yes, it is. Oh, wait a second. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. I have not finished. I have no control over that. Oh. I thought the host was just going to say no to that. I didn't say no to it. Hmm. There was a chest in there to loot as well. Yeah. Oh my bad. I started clicking on it. I clicked on it, and then I noticed that it had the waygate icon after I clicked on it. Causing trouble again, I see. Wow. Waiting for the area. There it is. Okay. I was like, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it didn't load. What's going on here? A temple of Arafat. Allies of the Sorax. This was a mine during the Manor Kalan era. They've made it into a temple for their cult. They've been planning this for a while. My God, it's like some sort of temple of the rag reptile god. Devoted to Sortar. Take her. Time to kill them all. Now, there are a lot of high numbers. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Wake me up inside. <laughs> uh, okay, we got battle mage. We got multiple battle mage. This one. We got cultus archers. Feed the Paladin. Is that what you're calling it? Feed the Paladin? <laughs> <laughs> Someone's been playing too much Blood Bowl. Uh, is it? I think we may have desynced. Is it? Oh, I've got, I've got Big Spoon playing right now. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've, I, I watched Tegan shoot that guy. And then... Uh, oh yeah, we've just Spoon's been waiting. Turn, and he did not, he did not okay. move. Reloading. Classic Celasta. Get to a combat and it immediately desyncs. <laughs> oh, what can you do? Alright. 
hopefully it should be Big Spoon's turn now. Yep. Yep. And he has indeed fed the paladin. Yep. Well, unless the paladin was a four. And or a six. six. Yep. <laughs> classic. Classic. Yep. I, I, I D and D. Our big battle in D and D last night was against three gelatinous cubes, which have an AC of six. So it meant hitting hitting was easy. Mm -hmm. She's got some decent spells. If we're controlling her. Yeah, so. I was I was looking at uh, look at her look at her spells. Uh, she's got some area effects, I think, because obviously there's a few people still bunched up over there. Yeah. Oh, she's got fireball. Yeah. What a great spell. She, she, she's a weird sort of cleric uh, fight uh, uh, with oh, mix. a mystic phantasmal killer as well. Wow. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, let's drop a fireball. Um, just right. I get. Uh, I don't know if you want it. Do you want to maybe move her towards you first, just in case the the battle mage tries to counter spell. Ah, uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Do you have to see the person you counter spelling? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, I think I'm only gonna be able to get these four. Yeah. I don't know that that's bad. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, and then move her into combat. Shadow murder. Shadow murder. Oh shit. You'll get a nice scar. Thanks, Tavros. That's just what I was looking for as a wizard. A nice scar. Thanks, bud. Hey. You know me. Take my guitar. Take your guitar. I'm going to business school. That's Nero's plan after this one last adventure is... Now that he's in his late 60s and has finally made one magic item, he's going to go to business school so he can become a shop owner. Then when people try to rob him or pass off illusioned gear, he just fucking vaporizes them off the planet. <laughs> so really, that's interesting that you're uh, trying to disintegration. <laughs> okay, I can do this. Uh, take this whether you guys have average or have my in. Okay, let's do that. Okay. I can't juice this any more than it already is, but here we go. Uh, for once, it dealt a fuck ton of damage. Nice. Leg leg yeah. Legendary resistance on the on the, the shit cast. Right yeah. Uh, did he take no damage? No, he took, nah, he, he took half. Good. He took half. Eat, eat shit, motherfucker. I'm gonna hide myself over here, because <laughs> I probably just made myself quite a target to the AI. Currently covered in purple flame. That felt like a really solid use of chain lightning on a spell yeah, that good. has barely seen any use, and the one time I did use it, it was on ourselves. <laughs> I didn't realize it didn't not target yeah. yourself. <laughs> yeah, the, was that the first fight with the bandits? Yeah. You're like, all right, chain lightning and hey. immediately bounce back on you. I, I, my recollection of that fight is the three characters, your three characters, were headed to the south. It was me fighting an archer alone in the north. I didn't take any damage until I killed him and blasted <laughs> myself horribly. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> Well, so we, we weren't headed to the south. We were in the south, and you ran ahead. Because <laughs> you went, surely we won't have a battle on the first on the first map. And then we had a battle on the first map. I've had several situations during this DLC where I was like, well, I'm just going to move slightly ahead of the group. Absolutely fucked me. <clears throat> Getting teleported here, for instance. Oh, counterspell. 
Failed. Yikes. Look at all those misses, though. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, oh, it's no, Masuk. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was thinking that, like, that uh, somehow Masuk had not uh, gotten her turn off. In terms of big battles this week, by the way, James, congratulations on your 85% victory at the Battle for Dragonhold. Now I just gotta clean up and kill the rest of your little minions. I feel like it's gonna be one of these things where, like, every unit is injured but one, and they all, like, diminish into the west. With the exception of, like, the Redstone Rangers. <laughs> Okay, so probably right now, Chain Lightning's not a good plan. No, probably not. And this guy's got legendary resistance, so there's no point to targeting him with a spell that will let him make a resistance roll. Correct. He will auto-succeed. <clears throat> Which is why I'm just gonna beat the shit out of him. I did want to follow up, James. When we earn our manager playbook, do, you said we automatically get the two plus ones? Correct. Okay, so I need to update my sheet with two plus ones then. Is there a cap on how high our stats can get? Nope. Oh boy. I'm, I'm wondering if I take a plus four in training and then yeah. just don't get it, don't ever get drafted or whatever, or auto pick my skills. Big fan, big fan. Oh. Ah. I don't like the name of any of these things. Yeah, the Nico Nico Blade? Yeah, of course. Oh yeah, we've got Connor Hughes considering joining the Final Fantasy XIV gang, which means in late August we may start a Final Fantasy XIV channel. Is that is it the MMO or is that the a MMO? Game? Yeah. Okay. I'm decently far in. I'm into Shadowbringers. Uh. I got to the Dragon Palace and I was like, this quest line is so stupid. I'm going to stop playing this game. Uh, but you can take your characters back. It'll like de-level you so that you can go back and play with new players and help oh, them. Was, so, did anyone ever play City of Heroes, the MMO? No, yes. but I've heard a lot yeah. about it. That had a lot of good stuff when it came to like letting people at different levels play together. Where, where you could like you could lower your level down or you could bring their level up to play with you mm -hmm. apparently that that and star wars galaxies are the two most popular mmos that people still run like private servers for my understanding for galaxies is that people like it before that big expansion jump to light speed yeah. or whatever yeah that's right when before you had jedi everywhere Big Spoon, are you? Uh, yeah, I'm looking okay. at spells, but I think... Okay, cool. I, I just want to make sure I hadn't desynced again. That was, that was, it was, yeah. Know, yeah. That Star Wars was FFG is the same way. It was better before Jedi became a thing. Ironic. Uh, the Patreon group, too. I'm running a clone post-Clone Wars Order 66 era game for them. They wanted to play Jedi on the run after... Order 66, and like I said it directly after Order 66, like their master was killed right in front of them. Uh, so they're still dealing with like clone troopers being retired and the Jedi slowly becoming reviled throughout the galaxy, all of their old iconography being removed. They got the signal uh, that Yoda eventually had to turn off that was like, hey, come back to the Jedi Temple, all Jedi. Um, 
Uh, so they started making their way back to Coruscant before turning around. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. It's crazy. One of them fell to the dark side and was like, I want you to play my character now. <laughs> so he started a new non-Jedi character, but he yeah. decided to make him a commander type. So now he does, like, mm -hmm. massive buffing and gives everybody, like, one to two blue dice. Uh, and goes, hey, if I, if I crit this check, you guys all get actions. Uh, no, what he actually does is I'm going to give you some blue dice and then I'm going to go hide in a corner because I don't know how to use a lightsaber. You wow. They want to run away. <laughs> yeah. If or she gets the chance. Out. Oh, boy. Where's that uh, half damage? Ooh. Is she one of those NPCs that when she dies, we lose? Yep. 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 If this character dies, the game is over. Well, I'm not exactly a healer, so I'm not sure I should get involved in that. The Shakath is quite low, as is the Cultist Brute. Honestly, this would be a perfect time for... Uh... Okay, that's gonna hit... Mind Twist! Uh, I think Mind Twist hits allies now. Let it me double check. Does, yeah. yeah, that doesn't sound like a great idea. Uh, I'm wondering about Cone of Cold... She's already down and I hit her. It doesn't deal any It'll additional be, damage, right? It will be two automatic failures. No, I think that's only for uh, melee. Oh, she's, she's, not, she's on death side. She's actually dead. Needs to be... Needs to be oh, shit. Sure. Okay. Okay. Sorry? Oh, she's at 10 she rounds. She was on death saves, yeah. So, she, so you could... You could you could chuck a fireball down there and it wouldn't hurt her. Chuck a fireball Which down in there. How bourgeoisie. Hold on a sec. I can make this happen. I can use Giga Brain. Uh, I move here. I think I'm gonna chuck a fireball. So low class and pedestrian. Instead, I'm gonna do this. Don't need fireball. Why don't she still make a save? She made a save, yeah. <laughs> That's my amazing power. Did that guy die? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Who is this over here? It's Tegan. Okay, so Tegan needs a partner for sneak attack i'm willing to sacrifice my frail wizard body on her behalf <laughs> no, what you think is it points out it points out that i can cast revivify or raise dead to save her the river yeah. fly has a 10 round limit but raise dead doesn't i wonder if the game ends if i have a river fire in time even though i've got raise dead to cast i don't know i don't know Hmm, prevent this incoming attack using shield. Okay. I feel like we're kind of low on enemy casters, right? I don't have to worry about having to counter spell something big. Yeah. <clears throat> I can shield. Probably move somewhere sick to get down that cone of cold off. I mean, that big guy's about to roll up here and pop the shit out of one of the two of us. It can't, it can't get up here. That's the problem. That, like in, in, its, in its first turn, it just stood there and did nothing because it couldn't find a path to get up here. Oh, I see. Will allow us to beat the hell out of it. Yeah, because ba basically, as long as as long as we've got people around the edge where it can't like jump, this up. is large size. I see. Yeah, because so 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 as long as we don't give him a opening, he he won't be able to get up here, and we'll just be able to pick him off. He took almost no damage from my cone of cold, but the archer on the stairs is almost dead. I'm saying that like I'm making up a plan, but I actually don't have. Oh, do I? Um, I suppose, yeah, I can I'll stay in here and go melee with you, Nero, so, so that you're not... Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, I'll be abandoning you to have all my... Uh... I could just sidestep out. I mean, I feel like you're doing good damage. Don't get me wrong. I wonder if you can loot this Nikesh blade and get legendary actions from it. 
I doubt it. My biggest beef with legendary actions is that a lot of people play D and D in the three to five range, and there are almost no legendary creatures, which makes sense. So it'll almost never come up in most D and D. Now you guys clean that set up pretty quick. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that's what happens when you drop two third level smites into the, in the bad guy. Do we, archers. Do we know how many hit points they have? 56. Do we have anyone here excited for the Super Mario RPG remake? All right, that hurts me on the inside, but just know that you're yeah. both uncontrolled swine. That's fine. It's going to be sick as hell. Ooh. Okay, so they They're have both, both say though. Yeah, good deck saves. Unfortunate. Plus six. Unfortunately, she doesn't have Spirit Guardians, which would have been super nice. You uncanny dodge the one that hurt less. Amazing. This luck. Yeah, he's gonna stand there because he can't find a path up. Oh, he's gone boneheaded, guys. Animal yeah. savagery. It's a, ra a rat ogre with no one in melee with him. He can't activate Blitz. Now would be the time to mind twist. I mean. Yeah, with one, two, oh, I guess that's, that's a spiritual, but one, two, three, four of your allies, all of your allies within range. What can I say? Uh, boy. Could reach those archers, huh? I'm willing to take a risk. They've got good, uh, I have a lot of health. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm saying they've got good deck saves, too. I don't have that much health. <clears throat> oh my god. I can't reach him. You're just, just out of range? No, it's the stairs are physically blocking access to him. Oh. Well, well, well. What a waste of time. How much health does this guy have? Well... All right, we're doing the classic. Arcana, evil mouth. Victory is mine. Oh, really glad he didn't hit me. I just want to imagine that season four of Blood Bowl is going to be I'll play an Elven Union team and then Lawson and Spoon are both going to be playing straight up Elf teams. <laughs> this is going to be Elf Mania all over the place. There's going to be one guy playing Tackle Dwarf team and he's going to be making Mad Bank. <laughs> I was reading the description of the tackle skill, and it was like, mm -hmm. it's very easy to find a player who has the tackle skill. And I'm like, in what league? Not this league. <laughs> Is it Spoon the only one who has tackle? Is that it? Uh, I think somebody else just recently got it, but yeah. I meant like naturally on their players. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm the only one naturally with... Uh... I'm also surprised the Icehorn Peak Jarls are coming in so low this season. They have wrecked me every time I fought them. And it's always James with that bullshit frenzy throwing me out of the fucking arena. <laughs> driving me nuts. <laughs> yeah. 
I think I'm gonna permanently switch my formations up to just not get, not do the end yeah, blocks. Not not put them in the outside zone. There's almost no one who has the speed to take advantage of that to begin with. You know, it would basically just be fighting, um, Pondo or Dynamis. Mm -hmm. Or some sort of weird leap Valkyrie doing bullshit. Oh, improve smite. Holy shit. Even with parry. Wow. No uh, let's see here. I think I can do the same thing that, uh, yeah. I guess we don't need it as bad now, huh? How's Tegan? Tegan's still pretty hurt. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> oh shit, this is never mind, this is different. Now nah, Nero's too far. Alright, fuck it. Bible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that up we'll see yeah i fucked that up well that's what you get for not uh not playing a spellcaster wait you cast it in a fourth level but it only two of them yeah, hit because well, i because i i assumed that it was um that i was doing like targets and then it would just automatically assign bolts uh but it was not that it was hey you have to you have to select uh, uh, i see you, you, you have to you have to tell it how many times you want to target each each thing and i didn't know that so the youth these days they have no respect for the classics So I went, oh, I'll just assign it these two targets and it will it will do the maximum <laughs> amount of damage to each of them. That was not the case. A Palpatine lightning bolt here real quick. Arcana, Muto, very bad. Mm, thank you. Felt like a good time for that. Mostly because I'm out of big brutalizing spells and uh, this motherfucker's just gonna automatically save versus anything I throw at him. Also, someone has to go cast Revivify. I don't know if you saw the news about the Writers Guild strike and a threatened Screen Actors Guild strike, but the studio execs put out a press release today saying that they want to hold out for another five months uh, until they, that's when they think that the screenwriters are going to run out of money and then they'll have to spend December get, leaving their apartments and that will be when they're ready to negotiate. Mm. This is a, again, this is a press release they thought would be a good idea to release. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I feel like when some people get some power, all human 
conception leaves their mind and they yeah. and any any sort of you know decency they go nah. yes well that's why everyone should give me all the power because i'm a beacon of human decency <laughs> i couldn't even get through it well <laughs> That's just the plot line to Captain Horrible's thing long blog. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dr. Horrible, sorry. It's Captain Hammer and Dr. Horrible. Wow, a musical that came out during the last writer's strike, I believe. Let's try this. Old monster, but he's gonna legendary resist. Oh, uh, yeah, he, he, he just he doesn't he have passed. legendary resistances. He just rolled he just rolled a twenty. Yeah. He's got advantage against uh, magic, magic spells. Spell. Yeah. Ah, gotcha. Mm, okay. Oh, he's gonna take her now. Yeah, but she's got a twenty-one AC and ninety-three hit points. I have not that and fifty-two yeah. hit points. <laughs> Okay. And now she has he'll, less he'll hit just, points. He'll just roll exactly what he needs to hit her all three times. That's fine. He knows the rules. I'm not going to say what you're setting me up for. I appreciate that. Uh, hmm, hmm. I need a spell that doesn't have a saving breath. See. I want to throw it out big. Okay. Pretty rare that I ever use this. Reese. And he's resistant to fire. Amazing. Yeah, because he does fire damage. That's, you can assume that. Oh. This is a huge mistake. You know what? Most of my turns are pretty okay. I'll, I'm going to just say that one was a wash. You know. Yeah. All right. What kind of spell is Revivify? Is it a touch spell? I believe so, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's touch, yeah. What about Ray's dead? Also, touch. also a touch. Um, almost all necromancy is touch. Okay, no worries. I, I also need to make sure I keep the spell slot free for it because if I don't want to uh, accidentally run out of spell slots and not be able to raise it. <clears throat> yeah. I Someone has also has scrolls of revivify, so I'm not saying to oh, use yeah, those, yeah, but if you run out, you absolutely should be able to back it up. Yeah, that's it. We've still got seven rounds, so I think we keep fighting at the moment. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, I'm gonna Vigdis, I'm gonna have Vigdis uh, do a mass cure wounds on her turn. So, um. I think if I want to go attack him directly or do some sort of big power spell on him, I mean, I think you want to at least at least move close to get the spirit guardians in. Um, do you want me to mass cure wounds? Uh, that, that'd be cool too. Yep. And let's see. Um, Patsy Tegan, annoyingly. All right. Oh. Yeah. My right hand, evil, cure. I owe you one. Nice. That's big. Only you had an octopus familiar. What were you taking for your two levels, James? Uh, there it one, is. 
One ranger, one cleric. Oh, critical. Yep. Lightning oh, resistance. That's over. <laughs> I think you can just that's show. That's all that's required. <laughs> just, just crit twice. Forehead. So in my um in my level planning AP um like my next four <laughs> levels after this one well after the second well so I was doing ranger and then like four more levels of cleric um mm. um and so I took uh the ceremony spell oh my so, god okay so, well that's a hot so, topic right now so be careful okay well I was gonna say from the point of view of things like you know in the two years. That like uh, Kithrix might do things like start officiating marriages. The, yeah, that's the, the one that's you know. that's the one that's getting people in trouble. Is it? Why so? Players are claiming that their entire gaming group are all polyamorous, and okay. then they're. I'm, I'm not looking. It's more about flavor than it is about rules. I'm not looking. Right, at right, right. Yeah. Well, they're sacrificing one of their members so that they can all be counted as widowed, and then they revivify the person. And then claim that they're still widowed, so they all get a permanent plus two to their AC. Um, do me a favor, kill that, kill, don't, don't kill this guy until I get a chance to get a room. Just in case any of the combat without revivifying her ends the game. Actually, gotcha. I'm going to quick okay. save, just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> right, just, that's, a, good, that's a good call. Let's get my turn then. I'll just cycle, yeah. cycle through to, to Zen. Yeah. Lady Zen, you can do it! Use the power of the scrolls, the Elder Scrolls. I can get to her, but not uh, cast this turn. I can still move my spirit weapon though. I wouldn't even say next room because he's going to um, end up yeah, yeah. Right, running, running away and approaching an attack opportunity. Imagine this guy is standing there sweating, just like, <laughs> if I kill myself, I can, I can ruin your save game. <laughs> For the cult. Now this is where delayed fireball would really come in handy. <laughs> yeah. Classic delay time stop delayed fireball fireball combo. I love it. The uh, the fucking spirit ribbon can't find a path down to the ground. <laughs> Can't it just float over the edge? Apparently not. We'll just critical roll. I'll pick the spear weapon up and jump over the edge. And it'll be my new longsword staff. That way I can be like Gandalf and dual wield. I learned from Reddit yesterday that Galadriel was like six foot four and 300 pounds of muscle, apparently. Oh, yeah. Uh, but she was still not even the tallest person since Boromir was known as Boromir the Tall, and Aragorn was even taller than Boromir. <laughs> you should have killed me. Why, Ragnild? Why? You dropped a fireball on you. You can't see the truth, my dear cousin. You and your light are doomed. It's useless. She's you. You think you've won? That my lord Sortar is barred from this world? Do you believe otherwise? <laughs> You'll see. Enough! My lady, she betrayed you in the clan. She deserves to die. Mm. Did you participate in any way in the murder of my father, your lord, Kaikonin Vatia? What do you think? I wish I plunged the blade in his heart myself. It was I Miss Sook. I to sentence you to death, Ragnild. But I am a holder of the shield. A light okay, in the shadow. I'll kill her. Not a murderer. Mm. Turn around, and whatever happens to her happens. 
Hi, what rustic architecture? I'm too upset to make a decision about this now. I could use a drink or two. Yeah, getting drunk is usually a great way to decide the fate of a person's life. <laughs> Jesus. I feel like this says a lot about oh, dwarven guess. judges. You won't loot all that. This is an honor. <laughs> Please, I'm still the same dwarf as before. Yeah, those were some <clears throat> memorable nights. Once you were with that little fella. I get the oh, feeling I, that Lady Victus I, uh gets around. That small drink that much. So, you can't Nothing to be ashamed of. I don't think no. you would have come across Princess Kaiwood in the Grave Keep's cask. Welcome to the Snow Alliance. <sighs> Where we know how to party. Come here with Ragnil when we were young. Look, bro, they fuck. All there is to it. She's my blood. Uh, Why is mine send her to jail for 50 years? I'd fucking banish her to the Shadow Realm. Uh, I'm with you, Tavros. Pay with their life, pay with their life! Select it quick! We have to lock it in there. Yeah, she betrayed everybody. What does? Exactly. I grew up okay, fine. Give us the illusion of choice. <laughs> what? No! Yes, but she is the rightful ruler of this of the of these lands. I'm gonna listen, I'm gonna press my opinion. Alright, this, this is gonna go on intro. Right? The choice you just made will have consequences later. Oh my god, guys, now she's listen. gonna be alive, which is not the same as being dead. Ryan Gilbert will remember this. <laughs> hey, He'll remember it because she's alive and therefore capable of remembering. Oh, new spells. <gasps> Arcane sword. Now I, too, can have a fucking sick sword. Blade Bass Fireball. Interesting, interesting. It's too dangerous to use, though. Finger of death. Absolutely sick. Prismatic spray. Interesting. I could do death ward or banishment. The problem with... with the symbol spell is it's much better on defense, uh, which this game never lets us do. Yeah. Symbol. Right. If this was a, if this was a tabletop role playing game, I would absolutely take symbol. Can I can I just quickly say that? So I just got as a shadow rogue the ability, which means that I can use my sneak attack when I make a ranged attack with a spell that targets, like you know, make, makes an attack roll. I left with my spell list, and there was only one spell on my spell list, and it's a cantrip that makes a range attack roll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see here. A strength saving throw. Knock prone. This is a pretty good disable. It's not concentration. And I don't need a roll to hit with it. I'll take that in Arcane Sword. Arcane Sword will be my new... Mm -hmm. uh, I have to lose something. How sad. So far, True Seeing has not really done anything for me. <laughs> All right, well, um, where to next? Um, according to our journal, return back to the keep with Vigdis. Yeah, <clears throat> I do a bloggy. Goods we got over here. A 
Is there anything I should be crafting? Bond of the War Mage. No, oh, but is there any cool staves? I'm crafting a, a scroll of fireball. Boy, if I need to use this scroll, we're in some deep shit. Yeah. It's like, wasn't wasn't there something that we were gonna do with troll hearts? Oh, it's a second too late for that. Was it the boots though? I don't know. No, it was it wasn't boots, it was something else to craft though. Well, if you figure out it will not take me very long to craft this uh this here. Scroll. Okay. okay. Right, I'm just gonna sell some crap. Right. Well, James, I know you were a fan of that anime, the, the mob anime, where the dude gets isekai You may like 100 waifus or whatever they're gonna call it. What what anime are my fan of? Apparently, I don't know. It's the, the it's called Mob in the title. Okay, I don't know. I don't know it. All right. Well, if you're into waifu bullshit, One Hundred Girlfriends is coming out. I mean, the last uh, probably the last anime I seriously watched would have been like Bubblegum Crisis or something. That's fine though. Bubblegum Crisis was sick as hell. And Tokyo Police, or sorry, it was called AD, uh, Police. AD, AD, AD Police. AD Police. Yeah. 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 Dirty oh, pair, yeah, dirty we pair flash. Do, uh, what was it? It was the um, like mall of shattering, but I don't remember where where to get the recipe for that. The the store I was just at had lots of recipes. The one, the clan house store merchant. Clan house over. store merchant. Oh, I see yeah. him. <clears throat> I, I don't, I, but he, his, his whole inventory was recipes. Okay. You figure out what you want. Yeah. What you really You'll get want. it, and then I'll go back and say, he said no pickles. <laughs> oh. People don't do that anymore because customer service in my local area has completely dropped to zero. It's bad now. It's bad. It's so bad, I'm at the point where I'm making my own food regularly. Wait. I actually feel like that last fight was like a, a really good fight. It was well balanced. It was tough. Yeah, yeah. I was. I was. Th th there were some. There were certain certain periods where I was like, "Oh boy, this we might. This is gonna be. Uh, this is gonna be difficult." I'd agree with you, except for the rat ogre not being able to jump up. That felt like yeah. a bit of a dick move. That felt pretty buggy. Other than that, it was pretty solid. It's going to be this afternoon. At least the case is solved. Is it? But we still don't know why the Sorax are working with demons. Again, we don't know who killed your father. It will be our next goal to discover it. And about that... It's Masumi. ...box for the claw amulet. It is clearly a Manakalan item, not dwarven. I noticed. Moreover, it bears a sigil I've seen before. Of a dragon. ...related to a wizard. I think her name was Exonica. That sounds pretty dragony. ...in the middle of a pact made with dragon claws. With Snow Alliance dwarves. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the demons. We're way over our heads. We just came here to chase Sorax. We need a knowledge that is beyond our reach. I took the liberty to contact someone who knows a lot about the history of the Manakalan Empire. A dragon. I could have sent you to Gorm the Wise, but Violet is a friend. Violet? 
The one who can hold her drink? That's just gossip, really. She's a very smart woman. She's sending us to her booty call? Is in the city? I think so. Is this professional? Can't promise anything for I feel like we're really mixing, you know, casual and business relationships in an uncomfortable way. Violet has one too. Here are the passwords for both. May Einar guide you. We'll see each other again, Lady Vigdis, I'm sure. Stay in the light. Stay in the light, my lady. It really feels like that helmet is wearing Zinn rather than the other way around. <laughs> Alright, I gotta I gotta go back and buy a, a primed mall and uh, uh so I didn't realize I didn't realize he was still chopping. Alright, let's go back yeah, yeah. before we go into the um and don't forget to use that scroll. The the thing the the Yeah, you have to I, 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 yeah, I, I did. I'm using it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, what what scroll? The what the recipe. The, yeah, the yeah, I, manual. I read it. Okay, just making sure. I don't know if you guys saw, but I went back to Fate Grand Order. Uh, finally. Yeah. yeah. And then two days later, they were like, the new FGO event is about collecting feet picks. And I was like, nope, that's it. I got literally two days. I got fucking two days is all it took to disappoint me. Oh, my God. It's incredible because the guy who writes Fate is like, all right, so I'm going to go into an 18-page dissertation on why this character is strongly related to both the Buddha and to the sun goddess Amaterasu, and why those philosophies are so important to the cultural development of humans. And then they'll be like, also feet pics, bro. <laughs> I'm just like, Nasu, you must be living your best life, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> <clears throat> They managed to do this professionally for a multi-million dollar company pulling in over a billion dollars a year in the number one smartphone game that has it still manages to top that new honkai star rail and genshin impact despite the fact genshin is everywhere you can't go 10 feet with that running into genshin speaking of for anyone that doesn't connect to Discord or Twitter, but is watching this video, I put all zero of you, just in case you missed it. Uh, the maker of my partial VTuber model, Riuria, is doing Honkai Star Rail style uh, VTuber models at $300 a pop. Uh, apparently they're so popular that she has over 100 people on order for them. She's about to make a metric fuck ton of cash if she can work 24 hours a day for the rest of her life. <clears throat> I actually uh, met with a financial consultant this week about planning my retirement. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. And did he say, like, hey, you're doing a great job, James? Uh, he probably you know, he said you have said, good real estate investments. Yeah, he said I'm in a better place than most people that he, he sort of has his first meeting with. So, I mean, I'm still talking like, you know, 20 years in the future, but, you know, yeah. making sure that. Here's something that uh, all of you should be aware of. One of my first conversations with James involved when Rad was retiring from teaching, Sid was talking about quitting his job as well. So I made a joke uh, to James about him retiring as well. And. It was one of the few times I've ever seen James upset. <laughs> it's just everyone in the room was talking about retirement okay. at the same time. <laughs> I, I, I think you asked me the question, was I already retired? No, no. I, what I asked, no, no. You were you were talking about leaving your job. You hadn't mentioned yet that you were moving to the job you currently have. So I said, oh, are you retiring? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's, that's a very different, uh, different <laughs> case there of... Uh, you know, are you going to retire or, oh, you're already retired? Listen, at the time, it felt like a smart remark with two other people going, well, I'm quitting my job. Yeah. That was actually three jobs ago, too, for me. Jesus. This guy. Anyone home? I'm over here. 
That must be her. Her last name is Good Cheer. She must be a halfling. More spiders. Really? Spot wait, spiders? Clear skies, my lady. You must be Victus's new friends. Indeed. She talked about us. Violet Goodshear, nice to meet you. Well, it's Master Goodshear of the Circle of Danantar, but I'll spare you the formalities. Wait, the Circle of Danantar? I hope we're not bothering you. Oh, no, especially if you're here to talk about Manakel and wizards. Oh, they're dragons, right? I mean, the Circle of Danantar is the mage guild. So many yeah. That's not that weird. She's a wizard. That's why we're coming to her. Wasn't, wasn't the Circle of Danantar the ones who are the bad guys in the last one? No, 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 no. That was the, um... About this sigil. Of course. That's uh, not, it wasn't the wizards. She's, can you imagine if all wizards were evil? That's insane. Who is... Yeah, yeah. Ask that one. So Exonica was a Manakalan wizard. No, she was a dragon. I must admit, one of my favorites. I read a lot of her writings. God, the books are so huge compared to her. Look at the fucking background. You said something about Telema. It was a school of magic in the Manakalan Empire. Almost a whole town of wizards and students. I went there once, explored the ruins, and, well, I broke them a little. How so? Something called Fireball? Yeah, that's on me. Been there. Done that. Ah, uh, a fellow, a fellow fireball enthusiast for Nero hey, to. Uh, I skipped to delayed blast fireball because it triggers whenever anyone walks up to it, and I thought for <laughs> sure you would somehow figure out a way to screw me. Didn't work out so well. Do you think that Exonica had anything to do with creatures called demons? I came across that word in her writings. Some kind of monsters. She went to so many places. You know what? I think she's the one who created the major gates. Incredible. It is, right? So maybe she traveled to places we have no idea about and met with these demons. Where did you find these books again? Telema, you could go there and try to find more. One of my friends is still there, Ruad. He had a crush on this girl. I think he married her. It's our only lead, so I say we should go check this place out. Sure. She's a succubus. It's in the middle of the Badlands, though. No major gate. About that. How come you have one? Well, I bought this place because of it. It wasn't working, of course. That would have cost me a fortune. But I was able to fix it. Though I still don't fully understand how it works. Well, it's been nice meeting right, you. Alright, so some bad guys want this ban for you. Yeah, I was gonna say, this seems like a really poor choice of investment. Especially because it's in the open next to her bedroom. Jesus Christ. Right. <laughs> Imagine being murdered in your sleep. <laughs> you mean like you? Oh wait, let's, we're gonna go loot, loot next P. I'll try not to touch anything since I habitually move us to the next area. <laughs> oh, and then some crafting stuff. Ball of lightning, cloak of the ancient kings. What a wand. Seeing wands, but what about stabs? Wands are for losers. Stabs are for winners. Ball of Lightning. I can't see what it does because I'm locked into crafting. Ring of the Ambassador. You need Dragonstone. Very apt of the Master Enchanter. Are strange new items that I can't access because we need to take several long rests. Okay, so wow, finally have access to the overworld. That's crazy. Okay, so we're supposed to be heading to Bend of Kakapuki, or is where we're supposed to be going to? I think we're supposed to be going to the ruins of Telema to go meet with this guy yeah, out here who has a girlfriend that he married have to pass through the farmland. I assume they farm in the farmland. We've got plenty of food. We've got 98 units worth of food. We immediately get wrecked by goblins as we step outside. <laughs> Incredible. I don't but think we've taken they, a rest either. I don't, I don't even think we've stepped outside, but they came through the major gate. 
<laughs> We're just fighting in her living room. <laughs> A lot of minotaurs. Oh, I see we're still playing Blood Bowl. Oh, fuck. Three of us are asleep. Yep. Uh, yeah. That is critically bad. You know, what would solve this situation is if we fireballed ourselves. <laughs> so I'm saying it would technically uh, wake us up. Yeah. I mean, th theoretically, you could. Well, no, I guess Nero's asleep too. I was say he could magic missile each one of us once. I think Tegan could do that. I don't uh, it's it's in who's asleep. Sorry. What's that? It's, it's in who's asleep still. Wow. Uh, I'm still waiting on the Goblin Shaman. Yeah, I think we might be decent. Oh, okay, all right. Well, let me. Let me uh... yet, yet again, we have had a. Wait, I, have to, I, have to, I have to wait until it takes someone else's turn. Yeah. So, so far we've been chain lightninged and slept. Not slept, sorry, um, uh, slowed. Mm. That's fine for me. It's not so good for everybody else. And we're surrounded by Minotaurs. Feels like, like a... this Goblin Shaman's pretty, uh, pretty serious. Nero's already at half hit points. That's normal for me. I'm overweight. That means someone has definitely been throwing items on me. Uh, okay, Tavros I... hit points. Okay, now I can reload. I did. Uh, I did drop a primed maul into your inventory. Son of a bitch! I was perfect weight. I thought. You, I thought you needed it to craft. I do, but you gotta wait until I <laughs> finish crafting the scroll. <laughs> Actually, I believe. <laughs> I believe I pull items from other people's inventories when I craft. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna give you that that mall back just as soon as this is over. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. We we are surrounded by minotaurs. It's not that bad. Yeah, and Zen is still asleep. There she goes. Oh, I can't even use it. So it, it, that took everything. I took, took my action, my bonus action, and my move to wake somebody up, apparently. Wow. Oh, because I'm slow. That's why. Okay. Yeah. Wow, did this dude just cycle charge us? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's called caracoling, and it's sick as hell. Actually, a really solid use of abilities. <laughs> okay, and they're pretty tough. Okay, that was. Some, I guess. I guess I just rolled badly. Is it my turn next to get wrecked? Seems like get that advantage on me real quick. Kill you. Oh boy. I still have to eat this acid at the start of my turn. What am I doing? Oh, because I was. I must have been yeah, because you were in. Me. Yeah, you were in there. In he was in your space apparently for yeah. somehow. Well, at least the cleric is still full health. Oh, huge! I am in your debt. Oh. It is in doing some absolute crazy shit. All right. It'd be nice to try and hit the uh, tr try and find which buddy one is concentrating on on the my slow as well. It's, the, it's this one over here. Um, that's the one that's that's one that's uh, slowing down um, uh, Tegan. Let's 
see. That's a lightsaber. Hey, no longer slow. Thank you. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna leave that there to harass him. And then my turn. Oof! Yikes! Good thing I have flawless concentration. spell do we know what spell it is uh no we fight you failed the check all right i'm just gonna counter with a fifth level then i'm just gonna over pass got him fuck <laughs> tried to re-slow us oh my god what sick pervert designed this fucking encounter <laughs> Need to go to this person's house with a baseball bat. What a dick. <laughs> Chain yeah, slows. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna put six minotaurs, four <laughs> goblin shamans who all just cast slow. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's what I countered was a slow, and then we we chain saved on two different slows. Yep. <clears throat> But you have plenty of targets you can get sneak attack on because we're yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> melee with almost everybody. And they're all on hurt, so there's no particular to attack. Oh! Well, that's a dead Minotaur. Great time. Wow! Maybe not. Certainly can't argue with that, though. I mean, they're definitely beefy. Thanks, Boone. That was terrible. Thank you. I'm I'm glad I'm glad somebody appreciates it. Ah, uh, I caught up now. I get it. I get it. It took me a minute. I apologize for that. Yeah, Nero, deal with it. Sunglasses descend onto your face in the middle of the night. Okay, I have dark vision. I think Tavros would be the kind of person to wear sunglasses at night and indoors. Probably. He wore his weird, weird indoors. creepy indoors. crown everywhere, actually, so... <laughs> Alright. Okay, Sword. I haven't asked a lot out of you. I'd really appreciate if you murdered this guy. Excellent. Oh, that was a great roll, though. That was absolutely fantastic roll. 25 right. force damage. Like, that's crazy. Uh, I don't know that there's a lot that I can do here. How much you want to bet we're in for another round of slow? Uh, you make a great point that I should definitely... Can't do anything that's concentration. Shit. Or. Swear to God, there's a recording of this. So I'm not trying to hit T again. But wait a second. If I do it this direction. Yes, yes. I'm trying not to hit Tavros. Have it on record. Fuck. Uh. Do you want to spread out or set slow? Work less well. Oh, I got the other shaman too. Good, good. And there's only two slow bots left. Yeah. 
Oh, your little charge shit doesn't work so well when you take opportunity attacks, huh? Wow. I ain't taking that shit. Uh, this is a fourth level spell. Counter spell. Ooh, healing word. Okay, it wasn't fourth level, but... This motherfucker over here. How dare you. I am thinking, though, that Nero would absolutely summon the Arcane Sword, put mm -hmm. his hands on it, and then just use his bonus action to attack with it and pretend it was him attacking. Yeah. So he looks like a meal. What the fuck? That was she so many here. dice! Uh, she had advantage, so she critical. Oh my god. So it's like 8d6. The bottom of the screen was full of dice. No! Did he knock me down? Oh boy. Okay, held concentration. I'm, I'm pretty damn you. worried. You say don't worry, then you didn't heal me. That makes me more worried. Yeah, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill the guys attacking you. The best the best defense is a good offense, right? You can't even kill one of the guys attacking me. Say that again. Say you that again. You can't even kill both the guys attacking me. That's true, because I, I only have... Uh, nah, that's right, we got to clear. He'll be fine. He's going to attack the person who's he's got advantage on. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to attack the rogue. Is he? No quarter given. Well, he can't, he can't charge you without moving back first, so he's going after... That's the what I thought he was going to do, but yeah, you're right. I guess he did initiate a charge. How embarrassing. How does it feel to get so wrecked? Uh... Marike, Evo, Cure. You are a valued comrade. Oh. How are you able to attack after casting a spell? Bonus action. Uh, bonus action for a healing word. Ah, uh, sure, sure. Checks out. Let's check out. <laughs> I want chain lightning. I want to, but I won't. <laughs> okay. I swear to God, the recording shows that I'm not hitting Tavros with this. Well, I would hope so, because I'm I'm behind you. Oh, that's not Tavros, that's Sin. Well, I smoked them both, so get fucking wrecked. I'm coming for you, Goblin. My sword is making its way four steps a turn. <laughs> Hostile spell casting. Oh my god. God, I'm, I'm running out of spells, guys. I got four spell slots left. <laughs> and after that, it's just down to magic missiles and scrolls. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, just flame strike to kill a seven hit point goblin. I think I would appreciate that spoon. How do I stop controlling the sword? There we go. Back to sleep. Well, hold on.
I need to give Spoon this damn mall. Okay. Ah! No. no. no that's Too late. I cancel, I, I cancel it. I don't see it now. Where is it in my inventory? Let's start giving Spoon all of my stuff. Carry my bags for me. He is sworn to carry your burdens. That's my Am I? favorite. That is my favorite mod by far. The Lazy Lydia mod. It replaces all of her voice lines with that every time it triggers. I'm good to go. Okay, cool. Right. I couldn't find them all. You didn't give me anything. It's, uh, I gave you some bear pelts. Oh, okay. I don't see them all, but someone must have been dumping weird stuff on me. Boy, I need to sleep so bad. <laughs> no, we failed oh, to complete failed a long, complete rest. long rest. Oh my god, we're so screwed. Oh, halfway done. Yeah, okay, hold on. Crafting on the correct character. Mall of Shattering. Mall of Smashing, Mall of Shattering. Got it. I've started on it. All right, cool. I didn't see what the periapt of the Master Enchanter does yet. That's going to be next. Hey, it's done. <laughs> so fast. Incredible. All right. Amazing. So I am Nero. I am overweight by a lot. No, no. I was trying to transfer the item to him and now it's left my inventory. Well, let's I mean, <laughs> we, it, we, we may have lost it. <laughs> yep. No, we, we for sure did because I think this has happened before. Yeah. Okay. I'm checking my inventory as soon as it lets me. Which is not now, I guess. No, you have to wait for your turn. Because it's technically an action. Or an item interaction, maybe. Well. Are Winter Wolves the ones that can, like, do Code of Cold? Yes, they are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but we have we have the cold boots or yeah, cold nice. F. Okay, so can you check inventory now? No, but you can. I, I can I can only see my inventory. So. Well, my turn will come eventually, and then we'll know or we won't know. I think we had multiple primed maws and multiple blood rubies, so. Literally an instant from dropping it in your inventory. Yeah. I don't know how this has happened so many times. I mean, it's, it's happened twice, I think. And it happened with the other group. It happened with the DLC group as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could try, I, I've got to save three minutes ago and try reloading. Uh, uh, let's I, wait and see if it, it's relevant or not. You know, okay. All right. it's not going to take that long to get to Nero's turn. Oh my god. What is going on with Tegan today? Losing her fucking mind. So many D D6s. I feel like her hair is about to go blonde and she's going to get like a foot and a half of extra muscle around her body. Really veiny, bulging muscle just starts screaming all the time. Yeah. Spend all her time talking about magic beans. And Subin. Oh, hey, there's our campfire from the other night. Okay. Well, I, think, I, think upon, I think we stumbled upon the Widow Wolf's camp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I do have the Maw of Shattering. Okay, cool. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Maybe they fixed that bug. Okay. Now I'm thinking. Fireball? No, I'm going to go Arcane Fury. But yes, I may do a fireball. I may do something toastier. Ooh. <laughs> oh, the one I'm standing directly. Neither of them failed. The uh, okay, well. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to back away after that. <laughs> gravity, gravity is a harsh mistress. It is indeed. Where are you going to? 
Well, I thought I was just gonna run through Zen Square and not and not leave those. Uh... Oh, they uh, yeah. This game treats people as immovable objects. So I went, ooh, advantage. It is nice to have, isn't it? It's like having a sick wizard is really cool. I'm a sick wizard and I'm here to say I'm casting gravity spells in a magical way. Feel bad, bad. When they, they make this sort of like hurt dog sound. It's like, you know, I feel bad about hurting him. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you used to kill the um, the seals in uh, uh, Warcraft 3. Mm hmm. Job's done. More work? I don't want to do that. My blind eyes can see what others cannot. Well, That's for some somehow I am not getting hit by any of these cold breaths. Well, I have resistance, so that's okay. I'll take them for you. I am deeply considering gravity slamming you, though. I'm pretty sure you can okay. pass a strength save. Oh. You know what? You, nah, even he's I, dead. Even if I don't, I think I'll be. You know, I don't think you could kill me with one spell at this. Point. The problem is you'd be prone at the end of it. This is fine. I can. I'm sure there's some other spell I can pull out of my ass. My right evil pure. I owe you one. Hmm. Ka me ha me ha Wow. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't believe that fucking worked out so well for you. That's so much bullshit. <laughs> it's a six level spell, motherfucker. You better believe it does a fuck ton of damage. Oh, God of all. Oh, they're just so dead. <laughs> Perfect. God, that spell did like 33 damage to all of them. Do we need Winter Wolf pelts or not? I don't think we do, do we? They're heavy. Nah. I mean, just throw them on somebody, you know? You never know when we're going to need them. What is a periapt of the Master Enchanter? Your crafting speed is increased. Okay, that's useless. I already craft at the speed of thought. Yeah, I craft so fast. All right, ball of lightning allows you to cast chain lightning. It's a consumable, so anyone could use this. All right, sure, I'll craft one. We got a we got a blue diamond sitting around. Keep it a hundred. Who no, would we give that to? That oh yes, yes, of course, of course, the hammer. Give me more, give me more, give me more. I was going to say, you know, like, uh, I left it on my mantle. No, wait, it's here in my pocket. I feel like I can give this chain lightning to Tegan, right? I believe so. Because Tegan forward. would be able to run forward. She can cast wizard spells. And... I have some scrolls I have to give you, too. I might have some scrolls you can say. Animal Friendship's not you. Bane's not you. Black Tentacles, that's you, isn't it? Yes. Okay, have some Black Tentacles. Uh, Conjure Minor Elementals. Yes. Oh, is this yes. just uh, a plus two weapon? There's no extra damage or anything? I don't know. Darkness. Is, is Darkness... Wait. That's Wizard, isn't it? Uh, yes. Dominate Persons, Wizard. Yes. Uh, I will absolutely take a Dominate Person scroll actually one of the more useful um let's see expeditious retreat detect poison and disease i think that might actually be a roll of sleet storm guarding bolts definitely me identify we've got enough for and silence 
identify, merge a weapon, stinking cloud, vampiric. We, we all just like throw we just throw paper at Nero. Yeah. I'm organizing them by spell level, categorizing them. Until I'm a ma I'm a librarian because I have a master's degree. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I need to be an elementary school librarian, a master's degree. Okay, hold on. Yeah, give this to Tegan so she can blast people. Enlightening. This feels like it's good to have a really high damage item on Tegan who doesn't always. Okay, okay I'm good to go. Is that a gun? Hey. You need to re interrupt while you. Torch. Nope, just keep going. I'm good. I'm just crafting a couple potions in the background. Totally fine. That does sound like me. Not near. It sounds like me. Oh, Zin, why did you have to keep the discussion going? Different days, different religions. Telling you, Zin, Vecna's not a good person, no matter how much you've heard about him. Oh. A mountain druid. Interesting. Are these mountain druid bad guys now? I guess. He's got three bears. Apparently, he wants to throw hands at this. What are polar bears doing in an equatorial mountain? I mean, he's, they, they've surrounded us, so clearly he has, you know, foul intent. All right, I guess we... I feel like I would have more questions than answers for the Game Master at this point. Like, it really feels like we need to interrogate this guy as to how he got these polar bears and why he's here, what it is he's doing. Yeah. Oh, no, they're, like, tattooed as well. Yeah, they are. Well, I appreciate you coming over here, Polar Bear. They're like some kind of ghosts. We might be desynced again. Are you? Oh, okay. I'm just showing Tegan. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm not. I see Nero. Okay. That's all right. I can, I can solve this problem. Hmm. This, is not a, this is not an insurmountable issue anymore. We've solved it. Remember when we used to have to, like, close the game? Yes. Yeah. And the poor people on YouTube are like, what the fuck's going on with these people? Uh, well, look, we we kept doing it until we finally cut away all the problems and we've discovered the source. You know? Okay. What weird shit can I do? I don't know. I feel like I can beat this guy with the lightsaber, right? Is that a worthy use of my time? Oh! It hurts so bad. Good thing it did not be prone. I didn't realize there was a bear next to me. It's unbearable. Arcana, evil Sword, eat his ass. Nine? Eh, it's not as good as like that 30 damage from before. Five. Sure. Turn. Hostile spell casting. Cone of Cold is a fourth level? Oh, somebody else got in on that. No. Oh. Oof. Well, you just held on a second. <laughs> I was trying to remember good. how hot it was. I just so wanted I... to because I could. I appreciate that. If only you were as good an arcanist as you are a bowman. Uh, 
they have got a small amount of health at least. Yeah. Like polar bears. Yeah, they're pretty uh pretty significant chunk of health. Yeah. Alright, so let's uh get some spirit guardians up in the house. My right Sixth level spirit guardians? Yeah. Jesus. Dang. I wonder if the arcane weapon counts as an ally. Probably not. Nah, because. Well, Spir I mean, spiritual spiritual yeah, weapon doesn't. Yeah, no. Spiritual weapon doesn't, so I doubt arcane sword does. But it is a higher level spell, so. Much higher level spell. Just want to do wield my quarter staff. And my sword at the same time, like Gandalf Matter. or Kirito. Oh, they must have pack tactics. Mm, yep. Whoa! Oh, I'm, I got knocked down. That's what happened. Mm. I was like, "What?" There we go. That's a good number. What can I do to this bear to punish it for its impertinence? It's just... probably got around 30 hit points left. Arcana. Punishment! Okay. Well? <laughs> disintegrated. No, it none. Did you see its body? It actually disintegrated. Yeah. It was so oh, yeah. sick. Oh, I was a big fan. Big fan. Big fan. Yep. <laughs> Fuck. I forgot when Lord Vader sent us out here, he had one request. No disintegration. Oh, mother, you son of a bitch. Oh, I don't get opportunity attacks. No. And he's running faster than the sword can keep up. This sword is not as good as I was hoping it would be. It's a less good spiritual weapon because it can only move four spaces. It does. It does a ton more that's, damage. That's all. So. Spirit weapon move. How much spirit weapon does only what? Does it move six? Uh, maybe. Ooh, that's a good question. Maybe Either way, people out running your attack is it good? It feels like something I should be saving for when we're in like a real scrum situation, and there's a bunch of people in one area that I can just keep slashing at. Yeah. I'm not certain it's worth the concentration usage. Probably not. Not not unless we're in that situation where it's like, hey, you know, we can throw up a, throw I up mean, a spiritual weapon and an arcane sword and have them have people to attack for, you know, two or three rounds. But let me tell you on this. The cho imagine the choices between casting haste on Tavros or arcane sword, right? Tavros mm -hmm. is going to out damage the sword almost any time with the extra attack. And the extra movement might mean he gets more attacks than he normally would. Yeah, right. probably. I'm still going to chase him with the sword, even though I can't get close. And I'm going to cast something absurdly overpowered as I'm upset at this guy. Oh. He's cast right of frost to slow him down, in which case the sword can get to him. Yeah, but now we're going to surround him. Okay, hold on. Okay. Countering. Now you get sneak attack. Well done. Sword, come to my hand. Come back, sword. Cabra says my sword. Uh, we, that's, not, that's, not, that's not our camp. That's, we can move on. Oh, okay. Where do we go to? Uh, oh, hold on a sec. What's happening here? Oh, for fuck's sake, someone from work just messaged me that's pretty minimized my Celesta. No. <laughs> Are you sure that's not our camp? There's no yeah, other way out of here. I'm sorry. Uh, here is our camp. Sorry, yes. I hate the fact that with Celesta, when, the, when, the, when you get windowed, it goes mm -hmm. into a small frame. You can't get it back to a full frame again. Yeah. 
Well, I think this is probably a, uh, a good stopping place. It's yeah. a good time to or, save. Or maybe once once we get well, to Tulum. When, when we get there, yeah. yeah, yeah. Funny. I don't know. I, there's a solid chance we get another encounter. Think so? I mean, just because we don't get one doesn't mean there wasn't a solid chance we would get one. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Just to be clear. Yeah. If we get an encounter, we'll save at the start of the encounter. Of course. A tin whistle. All right, a rod. Not rod, sorry. Peebies. <laughs> He gives me the real heebie-jeebies with his tin whistle. <laughs> okay, let me save. game is saved all right any closing thoughts friends that was pretty good that was pretty good we had some yeah type of fights there some some like annoyingly structured fights that fucking um all the minotaurs and the the chain slows to try <laughs> and make it so they, that they, they could pull away and um and charge back in again without penalty yeah yeah that was um <laughs> that was a bit of a dick move by the dm yeah, but uh, one one that I'm definitely filing away for future use. Wow! <laughs> wow, that's a real party killer, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Especially with the surprise mm -hmm. and everyone being asleep. Yeah, it was the, the it, it was really the surprise that uh, that did it in, where it was like, hey, we're really getting fucked. So. But the but the fight against uh, Rag or for Ragnild and the Shakath and the Devastator guy that was a really good one. I enjoyed that one quite a bit. Very well. Um, next Wednesday, I'm I'm playing Mike during this time slot. So you're telling me that James also won't be available since he'll be <laughs> the one recording it. It was yes. it was the only day that Mike because Mike's a shift worker. It was the only, only day because. We can work out the timing because Mike. Is I trust me. Like I'm aware game. we're not Blades of Honoring this week because of it. So you know. Yeah. So this might surprise you, but this isn't my first rodeo. It's my second. <laughs> <laughs> so are we out? Uh, okay, let's start recording. Sure.